Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kaya from GMS Indianapolis. Other two branches in Indiana is GMS Gary and GMS Bloomington. And I just want to do something real quick on this in our group chat. Well, the other Yash put this video in there and was like, so they teach him from the Apocrypha now, right? So the Apocrypha is books that were a part of the original 1611 King James Bible. And these devils, the heathen, they, they took them out. They took this spe specific group of, of books out, which these books are a part of the Bible. But these books link up by name, uh, uh, historical references, Alexander the Great, Philip II, you know, uh, that, that Greek history, how the Greeks interacted with the children of Israel is thoroughly uh, broken down in the book of Maccabees, further prophecies and in, in, in Esdras, okay, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, Sirach. In fact, when you read a Catholic Bible, certain Catholic Bibles actually have them. They'll, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, they'll say the Book of Wisdom, you know. Uh, uh, well, let me see. Because uh, I actually read a Catholic. Before I was exposed to the Apocrypha, I actually read a, a Catholic Bible. And uh, I was exposed to it, but being a, a diehard Christian, all right, when I, when I was was reading the Catholic uh, Bible with those extra books, you know, I was skeptical. I was like, wait a minute, these ain't in the Bible. But I read them anyway, honestly, to try to find a flaw. But even without understanding it, I, I didn't find the flaw. It all, it all, you know, lined up. But when you go into the Apocrypha, outside of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, outside of the Book of Sirach, basically it's what was happening specific to our people in particular captivities, all right? Tobit uh, was in Assyria. So it gives you insight of what was going on with Tobit and what was going on with Assyria, and it named names, all right? Maccabees, what was happening with our people during the Hellenization period, all right? Under the Greeks, and it names names, it names generals, it, it, it names multiple people where they ruled. Okay, uh, the book of Esdras, same thing. All right. Bell and the dragon, same thing. So now these devils, as it fit their narrative, they want to they wanna speak from it. They want to pull, they'll pull from it and then in one breath, they'll pull from it to make a point. And then in the next breath, they'll say, well, we don't know if this is true or not, or, you know, we can't take it as, as, as all the way credible. Well, which one is it? Did so the Bible say, let your yea be yea, right? Matthew 5 and 37, but let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Yeah, the, the devil. Esau, Edom. All right? Is anything outside of yes and no is wickedness, man. So which one is it? And also it's faithless too. Because the scripture says what? If you, it is a, you must believe the most high is, okay? Uh, Hebrews 11. I think it's Hebrews 11. All right. Hebrews 11 and 1. I'll read it in the NIV. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. All right. So it's not tangible. You don't see it. It's a hope and a belief until it manifests. But your hope and your belief is strengthened. All right. Because you see the prophecies come to pass. All right. That's why the scripture said, lest there be 
uh, any fornicator such as Esau, and Esau Edom, he is the progenitor of the so-called white race. So when the Bible speaks about Esau Edom, it speaks about his family line, all of them, the whole lot of them. They, they go under the guise of so-called white people today. So Hebrews 12 and 16 says what? Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Let's read that in the NIV on the, on the right. Seeing that no one is sexually immoral or godless like Esau. And that's the point. Esau is godless. All right. When you read Psalms, what is that? 14, it says the wicked have said in his heart, there is no God. They have done abominable works. All right. And Esau, Edom, so he is the wicked. When you read the Bible, there's three classes of men. You have the sons of God which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. You have the sons of men, the background characters, all the other nations. See, we're the protagonists, okay? It's just true. We are the protagonists. Then you got the background characters, and then you got the antagonists, all right? You got the person who's against everything. We're, super, we're Superman, and he's Lex... Lex Luther is that if that's how you say it, Lex Luther, and he basically Lex Luther hating, <laughs> trying to destroy us and kill us, and we just trying to do it, you know. But anyway, verse seventeen, uh, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance though he sought it carefully with tears. So the most I have rejected you. Now, let's look up the word rejected. Apo. Now let them say it. Strong's G 593. Apodakimadzo. 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 To disapprove, reject, repudiate, to disallow. All right. So basically the Lord not dealing with you. When it comes to righteousness and the, the spirituality of the and the moral and the morality of the Bible, that's closed. That's closed off to your comprehension. All right, I'm gonna play the video a little bit too. Fair use. I ain't making no money. Matter of fact, let me subscribe to Glenn Beck. He be saying some stuff sometime. I want to introduce you to Michael Rush. Uh, he is a uh, author. Um, a Remnant Shall Return is uh, the book that we're going to be discussing today. All right, right. Uh, and it's all about a prophecy of Ezra's eagle. And Michael, I think you are even one of the first to say, saying, I, I don't know, this could all be wrong. We won't know until, you know, it's, it's, it's proven right or wrong, correct? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. In fact, this, you know, I'd be the first to say I absolutely hope that this is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's all I need to play from that. All right. If you want to watch it, boom. I'll put it in the description box, you know, which it ain't worth putting in the description box. Matter of fact, no. Nah, you want to watch it, you know, whatever. But I will put the proper, uh, uh, Second Ezra's eleven chapter breakdown in here, because they talking about uh, America when when you read it actually it's talking about Rome, okay. So one more scripture, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll put the breakdown in there. Matter of fact, I was just uh, contemplating doing. So like, yeah, hold on. I was contemplating doing one, and then I said, nah, I'll just put it in there. So that way, whoever is, you know, truly want to uh, access it, they'll, you know, they'll do the work and watch it. Yeah, here you go. GMS 2nd Ezra chapter 11 breakdown from GMS vault and uh, the elders and the brethren and the priest from uh, Dallas uh, was doing that. It was actually going into it. Very, very edifying. All right. So here it is. This guy done wrote a book. Right. Pertaining to the the Apocrypha, which the Apocrypha is canon. Esau, Edom, you don't have the authority to declare what's canon or not. All right. And the Lord and you're going to pay for that. 
Because the Lord said it, the, the Bible says, he that add or take away from this word, uh, all these plagues shall be added unto him. All right? So you're going to pay for you're going to pay for that dearly. All right? But here it is. You're supposed to be, you know, Bible believing Christians. That's how the right stylize themselves, right? You're supposed to be Bible believing Christians. You don't wrote a book, but you hope is wrong. You're supposed to uh hope in the Lord. See? See? <laughs> let me let me grab a scripture. Oh, I spelled it wrong. This is Sirach 23 and 3. Lest my ignorant... Matter of fact, I'm going to start at the top. Governor of all my whole life. Oh, pardon. Oh, Lord, Father and Governor of all my whole life, leave me not to their counsels and let me not fall by them. Yeah, don't listen to what they're talking about, bro. Don't listen to their counsels. Okay, they don't they don't they ain't, they ain't got it. Who will set scourges over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over mine heart that they spare me not for mine ignorances and it pass not by my sins. Right. Lest my ignorances increase. So basically asking the Lord to order your steps in his word, you know, being the, in the proper mind state, because if not, what happened? Lest my ignorances increase. And my sins abound to my destruction, and I fall before my adversaries, who are adversaries, all these other heathen nations. And even Israelites who don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The scripture speaks about they are your enemies for Hamashiach's sake. See, otherwise, a lot of them people would be cool. But when it comes to this, well, not a lot of them, but some of them would be cool, but this word have no place in them. And therefore, they they're enemy. It's like it's like the Matrix. All right. If you ain't unplugged, or if you ain't out the system, those uh those Smiths can potentially jump in any any anybody. Somebody walking down the street, boom. Then it just turned to a Smith. It says what? And my enemy rejoice over me, whose hope is far from thy mercy. See. They hope is far from the mercy of the Lord, man. They don't think about the Lord. It says uh, the most high is not in all his thoughts. To y'all hope is in the our hope is in the in the mercy of the Lord. OK. Uh, uh, Revelation 13, 9 and 10 says what? Uh, he that uh, killed with the sword must be must be killed with the sword. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick because. Ultimately, the point is towards the end. Revelation 13, 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Karma. You put people in slavery, you're going to be put in slavery. All right? That's how that's it's going to be rebalanced like that. You reap what you sow. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints, all right, which are Israelites, their faith comes from the word of the Lord being true. Because if the word of the Lord ain't true, what, what are we going to do? Be second class citizens of the, under Esau and the heathens forever? Because ain't no winning. Like that, uh, the, the Wizard of Oz, you can't win. How you going to win when this guy pulling all the strings? Yeah, you, you might have a false idea that you might be able to win because you would see somebody that, that looked like you. That that might got a couple bucks, but let them not get out of line, and you see you see them fall and spiral and decline, and you know. So anyway, yeah. Let me see. Uh, let me uh, let me see. Grab Psalm ten since I quoted it. Psalm the tenth chapter. Tell about some he hope it ain't true. Uh, Psalm 10 and 4. The wicked, who are the wicked? Esau, Edom, the antagonist, Lex Luthor. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the, after the most high. 
the most high is not in all his thoughts. He ain't th even in that book, he ain't even think. <laughs> even in that book, even in the so-called book he writing about Second Ezra 11. I, 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 I hope this not be true. We don't know. I mean, I don't know. No. No. Well then, well then put the book, then put the book down then. If you don't know. All right. Just put the just, just uh, uh uh let me see. Uh What is that? 54? No, 50. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, who is the wicked again? The antagonist Esau Edom, Lex Luther. The Most High said, what has thou to do to declare my statute? Why do you got the Bible in your hand talking about what it mean and what it don't mean? The Lord ain't dealing with you. He's clearly not dealing with you. Look at what you're doing to the earth. Psalm 20, uh, uh, Isaiah 26 and 10 says what? Let favor be shown to the wicked. That's why you able to be a demon and uh, to run the world into the ground without nothing happening to you because right because the Lord gave you favor. All right. And now we're in the process of him taking it away. That's why you scared. And that's why you hope whatever you believe ain't true. All right. It says, let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of, upright, of, of, of uprightness will he deal unjustly. That's Isaiah 26 and 10. So you will not learn righteousness. You will not. You got you got the favor. You got the time. You got the hell. You can actually execute the law. You can actually execute the law. These wicked elites, these multi-billionaires, you can take the Sabbath off. OK, you can you can make sure your clothing is ain't mixed fabric. Right. You can you can be separated from your wife when she when she and her in her monthly. You can you can you can actually perform the law. But you don't because it doesn't it's foolishness unto you. You you what it takes in the in the mind and the brain to want to serve the Lord and, and to comprehend the ways of the Lord, you don't have. Nobody got it. Only the hopeful elect got it. And you prove you don't get it by what you do in the earth. What you do to what you do to other people and even your own people. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, verse 17. Seeing thou hatest instruction, they don't follow no law of the Bible. As a matter of fact, they go out of their way to go directly against the Bible. The Bible say man and woman. They say, nope. Man, man, woman, woman, man, beast, woman, beast. That's what they say. Hell, they codified into law. Hell, the 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 uh uh the Pope just said that Klaus Schwab is is more important than who they who they call Jesus. You know, the, they 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 calling for uh, uh they calling for rewriting the Bible, making it more uh I don't know uh friendly to the current world, this current bizarro world where we living in, making it more taking away the judgment because the Bible has judgment in there. You got right hand judgment and left hand judgment. If you do this, then this happened to you. If you do that, then that happened to you. They want to reverse everything. And got the nerve to 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 and got the nerve to speak from the scriptures. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and has been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. Yeah, and a lot of them guys be controlled opposition. All right. Hell, 
they'll say certain things. You you watch these certain platforms and they give you all type of information and 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 you bring out the same information, and they take your video down. But they video is still up. All right. Thou citizen speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. See, white so-called white people, they they tricked themselves into thinking that, <laughs> that they right and that God was on their side. They don't give a damn about all the atrocities that they commit and do. They was hanging, they was hanging our people on, on Saturday and going to church on Sunday. Using the Bible, uh, talking about we <laughs> Yeah, when you watch uh yeah, using the Bible talking about, yeah, this basically it's all right. They Hamites, they Canaanites. And tell us to love everybody. But no, when you read uh when you watch that movie about uh not a movie, it's a show about uh you know, the one cowboy, uh Bass Bad Bass Reeves. His his slave owner told him, if it's a, if it's a heaven, only white people go, so called. Only so called white people go. He said, No, when y'all die, <laughs> you just go, it's just nothing. It's just black. Ain't that something? These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. He thought the Lord had your back. You thought he was on your side? He's showing you he's not on your side right now. He taking his, he's withdrawing his favor. You served your purpose. The Lord used you to punish us because we went off. That's all written in the Bible. We, we, we got the serving of the gods. We got too big for our britches. We forgot about the most high. We honor him in all things. And the Lord said, okay, I got something for you. I'm going to put the worst of the worst on top of you. Right? And so that's what the Lord did. And now, what we're going through now with the World War III, with the economy collapsing, now y'all looking shook, you so-called white people, y'all skit, y'all on the back foot. Everything tense. This 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 Kamala Trump, y'all y'all they y'all glued to the news. Y'all <laughs> y'all glued to the to the to the to, to the commercials, the debates, to the Glenn Becks, to the the, the, the Tucker Carlson's to whoever, y'all glued. All right? Because y'all uneasy. Y'all see it. And that's the Lord basically letting you know. Like, look, I'm not with you. It says, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Right? And that's what's happening. You getting corrected. All right, and the Lord gonna gonna correct you with the ultimate correction. All right, so with that, uh, Lord's willing, this was an edifying lesson to the whole elect. All praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash Shalom.